everybody, I'm Katie, the beauty editor. I'm here to talk to you today about some of the differences between laser hair removal and intense pulse light hair removal and explain why I might choose to use one technology over another when it comes to treating my clients. On the end of this articulated arm, I have my long pulse ND Yang laser. This is particularly good for treating clients who naturally have a higher melanin content in their skin. So we're talking about those dark Afro-Caribbean skin types. And here is my medical grade intense pulse light handpiece. This one in particular is great for treating those clients with fairer skin, finer and fair hairs. For both my laser and my intense pulse light, use light to penetrate the skin, to target the melanin which is naturally contained in our hair shafts, and they both heat it up really, really quickly in a nanosecond. And if our hair is in the right growth phase, that heat is going to travel down the hair shaft and destroy our hairs permanently. But whereas our laser only uses one wavelength of light to produce a single beam, which is very directional and penetrates quite deeply towards the bottom of the epidermis, our intense pulse light handpiece uses a variety of wavelengths and when it penetrates the skin, Instead of it being a directional beam penetrating deeper, it's actually quite divergent and it penetrates less deeply than our laser. Basically, in comparison to our IPL, our long pulse ND Yag laser has a decreased affinity for the absorption of epidermal melanin, and that's why it's safer to use on darker skin types. If you've got any questions about what I've spoken about today, get in touch. I get amazing results from both my laser and my IPL, so I would love to talk to you about it. And I look forward to seeing you as soon as lockdown is lifted.